YouTube, the Healist of Ballas has returned. It's time to talk WWE Clash at the Castle, man. Live from Glasgow, Scotland. You guys always bring the energy overseas, and I have no doubt in my mind that you guys are going to bring it once again. Let's talk about it. Five matches on the card. Here we go. Women's Tag Team Championships in line to kick us off as Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair defend against the unholy trinity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn and Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Honestly, uh, there's really no if ands or buts with this one. I am I am enjoying Bianca and Jade as tag team. I'm not gonna lie, they've been doing pretty good. And plus, Jay Cargill's entrance and theme song is so cool. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Bianca is Bianca. That's but Jay Cargo, man. Oh my gosh, <laughs> her entrance and theme song. It's so badass. It's just so cool. I like it. You know, the presentation of her has been very good so far. Very, very good. Um, there's really no fans are about to this one. They're going to retain the Tag Team Championships. And, uh, yeah, they'll pretty much be with the, with this one. I am looking forward to it. And um, only because, again, yeah, Jay Cargo's entrance. And plus, I do think the Unholy Train deserve a little bit more than they're given. I really hope they kind of win. I don't think they're going to. And Zoe and, uh, J uh, Zoe and Shayna. I said Zoe and Jade. Zoe and Shayna. You know, after uh, Shayna coming off her, her loss from uh, Battleground this past week, which was freaking awesome, awesome with her and um, Lola Vice. That was very fun. Um, and she already got a win last night. That was fun. But uh, those two, I think there's more in store for them in the future with something, I would hope. But, yeah, I pretty much got with that. I got the tag chance retaining in this one. Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. Up next for the Intercontinental Championship as Chad Gable takes on Sami Zayn. Chad Gable has finally snapped. <laughs> Well, he's been snapping, honestly. And it's all because the lane general Walter broke this man. Pretty much is why this is happening. And uh, Sammy, uh, Chad Gable has just been unhinged. He threatened to beat Otis with a belt. He threatened to freaking break his own crew. He literally made Maxine Dupree beg. Like, this dude is unhinged. And he doesn't give a crap. And that's what I love about Chad Gable's character. He's been through, through so much, he's finally snapped. And honestly, you think about it, he kind of has every right to snap. But not really take it out in his own crew. Like, come on, dude. That's, that's a dickish move. Anyways. Anyways. Um, regardless, Sammy, I've been enjoying him as, ta as champ. I really have been enjoying his run. Sammy Zayn, there's really nothing bad to say about the guy. I've met him. Great guy. Sammy Zayn's amazing. But Sammy's been pretty good as the Intercontinental Champ, in my opinion. Is he going to win here? Uh, potentially. I could see Sammy Zayn retain the Intercontinental Championship. Um, I'm going to go with Chad Gable, though. I think that Chad Gable is going to win the match. And I think it's going to be because afterwards, maybe Otis does turn on his own. His own. I do think Otis soon will be turning on Chad. Gable. Maybe he. Maybe he's the reason Chad loses the Intercontinental Championship. Maybe he lose. Maybe Chad Gable loses the Intercontinental Championship to Otis. I wouldn't mind that. I actually wouldn't mind that. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but the big moment is going to be when um, Otis finally just breaks away from Chad Gable and his bullshit. So, regardless, I have Chad Gable winning this match. Um, Sammy. He's probably his rematch next month, uh, whenever. Yeah, in Montreal, uh, where we're uh, Canada, and uh, potentially yeah there. But I have a uh, Chad Gable winning the Intercontinental Championship. That's all I got for that one. Can't wait to see it though. Women's Championship on line: Bailey, Piper Niven. No Brandon with this one. Bailey's been pretty decent as champ. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but she needs a little more under a build, more build up on her. But I have been enjoying it. That, that triple threat backlash. <laughs> that slapped. That slap. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, pretty much no brain with this one. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that, <laughs> that there's no brain. Uh, something else. But anyways, um, it's been a long, it's been a long while, folks. <laughs> long night. Anyways, um, let's get back on track. Bailey, I do think is retaining the women's championship with this one. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait. Piper's great though. Piper is great. Um. At what she does. Um, Chelsea Green has been hilarious. I don't care what anybody says. Chelsea Green's been hilarious. I do think he's, she's probably the next one to face Bailey after this one. And at Money in the Bank. And uh, yeah, there's pretty much nothing to say about that one. I do have uh, Bailey retaining the championship over Piper Niven. There you go. Up next, the WWE title on the line as the champ, Code Man, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, the guy who beat Roman Reigns. To go up one on one against AJ Styles round two, I quit. Honestly, this is going to be insane. I love I quit matches. I love the anarchy. I love the chaos in these matches. And I can't wait to see what these two bring to each other. This has been a long time coming. AJ Styles teased retirement. Basically, this actually you about, it's kind of started when Nick Aldis denied a title shot to AJ Styles again because, well, you have to earn it. 
So, yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah, he got mad, and then he went under disguise, and then he's like, hey, I'm going to tease retirement. That'll get me a title shot. So he brutally beat the piss out of the WWE champion, laying out with this very vicious Styles Clash off the stairs, which was so cool. Imagine if you hit him on the steps. Ooh, ooh, that would have, ooh, Cody, my gosh. Um, yeah, like, and now he has a WWE title shot. I quit. Cody Rhodes, I quit. Can't wait. Yeah, he's retained the title. But I think it is going to be a brutal contest. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be insane. It's going to be chaos. And honestly, I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this one. And But Cody Rhodes is retaining. But I do think there's going to be a lot to keep AJ Styles down. And specifically Cody Rhodes down. Because basically these two just won't quit. So I'm very curious how Cody's going to get AJ to say I quit. Well, I could see them doing it. This would be hilarious. So they play an audio recording of Cody Rhodes saying I quit. AJ wins the top for like a few seconds, and then they then they <laughs> give it right back to Cody. That'd be so funny. They've done this before. They've done the audio thing before. That would have been that would be hilarious though for them to do again. Um, but I, I Cody Rhodes is retaining the WWE title. He ain't losing. This dude ain't losing for a while, honestly. So get used to it, folks. He's not losing for a while. Um, I'm looking forward to that. But Cody Rhodes retaining the WWE Championship, and then I would guess be the main event, the World Heavyweight Championship. On the line as Drew McIntyre, everyone's favorite CM Punk fan, everyone's favorite, you know, you know, Scotsman, goes out there and tries to take the world title from Mr. Damian Priest, your current world heavyweight champion. There you go. Oh boy, oh boy, this should be interesting. Um, there are th- obviously this started from obviously WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre, with his CM Punk fanboyish phase, he decided to antagonize CM Punk. So CM Punk did what he needed to do and defended himself. And then that cost you the cost you the title. That's your own fault, buddy. I'm just saying, that's your own fault that you lost the world title because you couldn't keep your eye on the ball. So now, you gotta try and get it back. Is he going to get the world title back? Uh, I'm gonna say... Mm, it's very hard to call. I could see CM Punk showing up, interfering, and then potentially not even succeeding in, in costing Drew, and Drew wins the title anyways. I could see Punk interfering afterwards, after the title match. He stares down Drew McIntyre, and that's the next match for Money in the Bank. Or I could see Damian Priest outright retaining. Oh, yeah, and Judgment Day are banned from ringside. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with... Damian Priest to retain the world title by the skin of his teeth because CM Punk is... I don't think Punk will show up until after the match, potentially. I think his music's going to hit. I think his music's going to hit. And then what's going to happen is that it's Drew's going to get distracted and then Damian Priest can capitalize and then retain the world title. I wouldn't, mind, I wouldn't lie. Drew winning would be great. Be cool. Be great. I think there's more telling with the title with in Judgment Day than with it out of Judgment Day, honestly. So I think they're going to have Damien retain the world title. And remember, the winner of this pretty much goes on and faces Gunther or Walter at SummerSlam. So I'm going to... Yeah, Damien Priest. I think it makes more Damien Priest. Plus, honestly, how is he Drew and uh, Walter clash again? I don't know. I, I got Damian Priest retaining the world title anyway. So, yeah, Damian Priest retaining the world title, regardless if CM Punk shows up or not. Wouldn't, wouldn't potentially lie. I wouldn't mind seeing Drew win, but I got Damian Priest retaining the world heavyweight championship by the skin of his teeth. And, uh, but I never said Carlito was banned from ringside. Never said, because he's not a member of Judging Day. What's he going to do, actually? What's he going to spit an apple in Drew's face? <laughs> That's totally going to work. Okay. Damian Priest retaining the world title. And there is your predictions for WWE Clash of the Castle. Hope you all have a great day. I hope you guys have been enjoying the shows as well. And I can't wait for this one as well. It's going to be a great, fun show, Clash of the Castle. The crowd's going to be amazing. The crowd's going to be electric. And, uh, yeah, can't wait. Hope there's lots of surprises, too. Anyways, hope you guys, you guys enjoy it. And I will see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this, I really hope you did. Please do sweep the like button down below. Subscribe and just like this one. Follow guy Twitter, Heel Baller. Instagram, Heel Baller YT. And I will see you all in the next one. Too sweet. Peace out. Have a great day.